guys, welcome back to The Bright Side. Macy here, The Bright Side Girl, and today we are doing my giant end of the year unhaul. So, I'm doing this a little bit earlier for a couple of reasons that I'll get to in just a second, but just in case you're new and you're not familiar, Every year towards the end of the year, I do a massive unhaul. Um, I try to do like dozens and dozens of books because I, in my area, am able to find books for like 50 cents to like four or five dollars. And so I do very large hauls frequently without spending like tons and tons of money. And that's totally awesome, but I only have so much space. And so usually I do little mini unhauls throughout the year of things I read and didn't like or TBR books that I'm just kind of not interested in anymore for whatever reason. Otherwise I accumulate a ton of books. I do read like around 100 to 150 books a year so I can get through quite a bit but with the space that I have I have two bookshelves behind me that can hold about 270 books. I have a tiny one here that holds about 20 and a half bookshelf over there that holds about 50 so I'm looking around like 350 to 370 max and we're talking TBR only books so this is going to be mostly an unhaul of TBR only books. I have another shelf for books that I have read and loved. I only keep the books that I really enjoy. I don't keep every book I've ever read. I keep more TBR books than I do read books just because it's fun. I have super enjoyed having a library. I do themed uh, videos and readathons and so I have large collections of pirate books and mermaid books and vampire books and I really love that especially with this year with the libraries being closed and things like that. It was so nice that I could come in and get a lot of books off of my own little mini library and I did really great this year about mostly reading books that I already own. Lots and lots of backlist titles. I do trades with bookish friends online so books are kind of like flying in and out in every direction all the time. However, I knew I was behind with updating my app. I use a library thing to track all of the books I've read, TBR books and all that stuff um, on different, you can do different shelves. And I knew I hadn't been great about updating things as I was hauling and unhauling. And so I went through and I actually went through all of my shelves and re like scanned or typed in the titles to make sure I had them in my to be read shelf. And then also got rid of things that I didn't have anymore. And it was way worse than I expected. So I am at a total of 567 uh, TBR books. Ugh. Worst I've ever been. I think I was at like 460 last year at this time. I thought with everything happening this year and all the craziness and most of the bookstores and things uh, that I go to have been closed for most of the year that I would have like way less books because I just wasn't able to get as many. But I actually did pretty good this year with all the trades and things that I did. I got some stuff at Dollar Tree and then I've gotten things recently at some of the stores that started opening up. So <laughs> my TBR books are out of control. I literally have books everywhere. I don't mind having a ton of books. I actually really love it, like I said, but I have gotten out of control. I was hoping to get new shelves this year, but like there was lots of things that came up that didn't make that possible yet. And so I have books in like every closet of my house, underneath my bed, in boxes and all kinds of stuff. And I hate that. If I'm going to have a lot of books, I want it to look nice and I want it to be organized and I don't want to like wonder where things are. So <laughs> All that being said, this is gonna be a vlog style video. It is going to be a lot longer, so just kind of be prepared. I will put a timestamp here where you can skip to the end and I talk about like the totals of everything. I'm not gonna be going into in detail about why I'm getting rid, rid of each book, but I will talk about reasons for certain things. Haven't read any of these, so don't get your feelings hurt if I'm unhauling something that you really like. And also keep in mind that I'm able to find used books pretty easily usually, so a lot of times I'll unhaul things and then haul them later like, for example, I will unhaul a lot of like spring themed reads, get them again closer to the springtime uh, if I know that they're popular and I'm, you know, see them all the time. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go through my shelves and start unhauling things. This might be a very long video. The shelves might change colors and things as it goes on. I'm not sure how quickly I'm going to wrap everything up. I don't really wanna dismantle my fall shelves just yet. So we're gonna go through all the other piles and be hopefully kind of brutal. I'd like to get it to at least 50 to 70 books, if not more. We'll just see. I don't wanna get rid of anything that I truly, truly wanna read or that it's hard to find. Also, I hauled a lot of things from Dollar Tree and I was less picky about my book buying this year when I did find used books than I normally am because I wasn't sure 
if I was going to be able to find good stuff. <laughs> like, so I, things would be like, yeah, that's kind of sounds interesting. Whereas last year I wouldn't have done that because I could just get it from the library or whatever. So there are a bunch of random books that I know I don't need to be keeping around long term. So when I'm done unhauling, I either donate, sell, trade, or put them in the little free library or donate to the library or whatever. So that's what's happening today, and I hope you guys enjoy this video. It's one of the favorite videos on my channel, I believe. People just love a good unhaul, a good clean, and it also gets me reset for the new year so I don't feel guilty getting tons of new fantastic things and some wonderful stuff. So everything's going to be a TBR book for the most part, but I'm going to talk about a couple of books that I have read or DNF'd that I'm getting rid of that I've kind of been waiting on. Okay. I'm going to unhaul Last Voyage of Poe Blythe. I read this during Scallywagathon just a couple months ago, and it was just a really basic three-star read, which three-star isn't always bad for me, but it just didn't leave any lasting impressions. I do like Ali Condi. It's just a little bit boring. It's a really nice copy, so I'm going to get rid of that. Badly unhauling The Betrothed by Kara Cass. This was a 2.5-star read for me. I you guys are gonna laugh, but I am going to read book two next year because I don't understand what this book is about. I thought it was about romance. It's not really. I thought it was about political intrigue. It's not really. I, I just, I don't understand. Like, this seemed like a total mess to me. So I'm gonna unhaul it, um, unfortunately, even though I really love Kira Cass normally. Unhauling The Hike by Drew Maggery. This is just one I picked up at Dollar Tree and I tried to read it during Hikeathon and it was really bad. And it, I just DNF'd it at like 20 pages, so. Bye. Unhauling Reign of Shadows by Sophie Jordan. I recently read this one and it was like about a princess that lives in a tower and they won't let her leave like her area because they're in the woods and there are basically like zombies outside of this village and they don't want her to get hurt. And it was like, I had a good concept, but it just felt like it was really boring. And I read Force of Hands and Teeth last year that was similar and it was way, way, way better. So I'm going to unhaul this one. Okay. So I think that's everything for now that I have read as this video continues on that may change. So I'm just gonna go through my shelf. So I'll give you guys an overview because I do that every year. It's a little bit messy in my office. I'm deep cleaning it this week. That's one of the reasons that we're filming this video. So secret time, I only decorate the top two shelves that you guys can see because I have too many books and it's just a pain. So these are my main, main shelves. I've got classics up here, random things, uh, decorative things, and then just not really major organization other than I try to keep the series together. And then I keep the books that I have finished on this top shelf. These are Newbery Award books and these are paperbacks. So we're probably going to start here in a second. It's kind of a mess over here. So just forgive me. Um, right now, these two bottom shelves are spooky reads. Or wait, these two shelves are spooky fall themed reads. I'm probably going to keep most of those since we're in this season. And then these are, again, more random. I have like piles in this closet to make room for the spooky reads and then I have things in other rooms and all kinds of craziness. So we're gonna start right here first. Okay hopefully that's not too far away. So I'm gonna go through my paperbacks first. Okay I just hauled this one like not too long ago but I'm gonna unhaul Between the Blade and the Heart by Amanda Hawking I think unless I can find enough other things. But only because I only like to keep paperbacks for going to the beach or the gym or kind of being a little bit more rough on them. And I have enough, I think, for that. And I'd like to get this in hardback at some point. Unhauling Ensnared by A.G. Howard. I need to get this one in hardback as well because I have all the other ones. This is part of an Alice in Wonderland retelling. Metal Town by Kristen Simmons. This does look really cool, but it's totally random. And then Landry Park, both of those I got at Dollar Tree. They're like kind of dystopian looking things, but I want my number to be like really high. <laughs> I'm going to unhaul Thorn by In Intazar Kahanani. Hopefully I'm saying that right. So this book is has been redone and I think changed since it came out originally in 2012. I think they've actually, it's not just republished, they like actually changed the story. So I want to get the updated version and it's also X Library. No, Unhaul Nevermore, The Trials of Morgan Crow by Jessica Townsend because, don't panic, I want this in hardback and also this is an arc and I know that I can save this for um, a really good trade because I can trade people that collect arcs for finished copies since I don't collect arcs and I don't want to read this and like mess it up and bring down the 
trade value. If I don't read this this fall, I'm going to unhaul Beware the Wild by Natalie C. Parker, but I might be reading this for the fall. It's like swampy and woodsy and scary, but it's just a, just a normal paperback. And then Once Upon the River by Diana Setterfield. Uh, I do really want to read this, but just need some unhaul books. Okay, so now I'm just gonna start diving into the shelves and I'm probably gonna leave the shelves that are decorated alone. We'll just have to see, but we'll start with this one because you can see it the best and see like how much I can unhaul <laughs> also to make things look prettier again. Okay, Children of the Fleet by Orson Scott Card because I haven't read Ender's Game yet and I know I can find this one pretty easily. The so Water Wars by Cameron Straker. This is a like dystopian novel where we don't have water or something like that. I have a lot of these dystopians and I do like dystopians but I have like a ton so I'm going to get rid of a few. Beauty and the Beast, a retelling of The Beauty and the Beast by Robin McKinley. This one's just a little bit beat up and I have a lot of other retellings to get to first. Mystic City by Theo Lawrence. Again, another dystopian. It looks really neat but I can find cool stuff again. Cryer's War by Nina Varela. I've heard really mixed reviews about this and I just don't feel like I'm interested enough in it to get to it soon and it's a newer release so I'm gonna unhaul it. I'm gonna look at this like lower shelf. It's really hard to get a good angle. gonna get rid of Mirage by Soumya Daud because I see this one a lot. I think it's part of a series so I know I can just get it easily again. It's really beautiful but Nixia by Scott Rent Jin or something. It's like a dystopian uh, sci-fi I think but I read a couple of these recently like not this one but I read a couple similar ones and I really didn't like them so I'm not really in the mood. <laughs> Lovelies by Scott Westerfield. I do want to read this, but I know I'm going to read them on audio, and I do like to keep books when I read them on audio, but I don't have any of the rest of the series. I think I can find it again fairly easily. So again, more dystopian unholing. I like to keep my, my dystopians like a little bit less than what they are. Ruins and Visitors by Orson Scott Card. Uh, I just know that I'm not going to get to these for a super long time, and I don't even think I have the first one in the trilogy or the series. Artemis Trilogy, book three by Jonathan Stroud. Uh, again, I just see these a ton, and I know I can, like, find it again in the future for when I'm more ready for it. Okay, now I'm going to look at the top shelves real quick and just make sure that I don't need to get rid of anything. rid of my classic edition of the Scarlet Letter by Nathaniel Hawthorne because I know they have these editions still at Barnes & Noble and this is like the only classic I have that I'm the least interested in. I am going to read it at some point but we can just make room on the shelves for now. Kingslayer by Virginia Boeck. I know this is the first second book to Witch Hunter which I would love to have right now but I don't have the first one and I know I won't get to it this spooky season so. so now we're going to move to the floor and go through some of the boxes that I have that I use to make room for all of my spooky reads. Kind of a weird angle, kind of dark. Sorry, so I have this box. I don't know if you can see it. So, uh, this box right here. This is the first box. It's going to be a lot of mermaid reads so I'm not going to want to get rid of hardly any of those because I want to read like every mermaid book if I can but we'll just go through really quickly and make sure okay I want to keep all the mermaidy reads because I just want to read all of them but I did find the princess bride this is like the movie edition and there is a really beautiful edition that Target had that hopefully is still available and if it is I'm gonna unhaul this and get that at some point in the future I got it for my mom like a few years ago I haven't read this yet anyway but I would like to have like a more classic-y version of it on to the next box <laughs> so this one's a little, a little bigger and a little more random a lot of these are like series that I haven't finished so I'm probably gonna keep most of them but Lost Island of Tamarind. I'm going to add this to my wish list for a hardback version. It's like Kids, A Magical Adventure, Mysterious Island, or I won't read that until summer. 
Okay, those are mostly mermaid books too. So I'm gonna be keeping all of those except for, I think I'm gonna go ahead and unhaul, I might not if I can get rid of some other things, but I'm gonna unhaul Tempest Rising and Tempest Unleashed. I read this one and I DNF'd it a few years ago and I was gonna like try it again, especially cause I got an autographed of the second one, but I have a lot of mermaid books. So if I have enough other books to unhaul, I will keep these, but otherwise this is gonna go in the unhaul pile. Now going over to my little shelf. Okay, sorry, I had to like shut the window and the door and then turn the light on to be able to see over here because it's, you can see like the beam of sunlight. It's like right where the direct sunlight comes in, which is why I can film with natural lighting because it comes in at an angle. But I wanted to film over here because this is where this bookshelf is. So this is like a little half bookshelf. So I'm gonna go through my spooky reads really quickly. Um, it's spooky season, so I'm probably not gonna unhaul them yet, but I probably will. So I'm, I'm gonna unhaul The Night Gardener. I think I've already unhauled this in a different video, but I rehauled it for spooky season. But I'm just gonna listen to this on audiobook, I think. Um, we'll save it for a little bit to see. And then I think I'm gonna unhaul Drink Slay Love. Um, I'm gonna try to read this before I unhaul it, but it's like a girl that turns into a vampire because she's like stabbed in the heart by a unicorn. It's supposed to be like absolutely crazy and ridiculous. So I might try to read it, but it's probably going. Seeker by Veronica Rossi. This is book two in a series that I just recently got and I realized that I don't really need. Not spooky, but over here anyway. <laughs> Those are all the spooky reads that I'm gonna unhaul. Gosh, I'm sorry, the lighting's so bad, you guys. Um, they're a little bit better. But the bottom shelf over here is not spooky, so I'm gonna unhaul Satellite by Nick Lake. I know I can find this really easy. And I also heard like it just wasn't very good and it was written like kind of stupidly. So, Destiny and Eternal by Jillian Shields. These are part of a quartet series. I read the first book and I read it in a day and I really loved it. Magical boarding school, witchy fun. Uh, romance, cheesy romance, all that stuff. But the second book wasn't my favorite and then I know the third book is following a completely different character so I don't know if I really care that much. So I'm gonna unhaul these two. Beast and Crown by Joel Ross. Hopefully you guys can see these. Uh, this look, looks cool. It's like a middle grade kind of like fairy story but again I see this bunch. Just a random one I picked up at Dollar Tree. So. Wow, okay, this is going like way faster than I expected. So now I am going to go in my bedroom and see if there's any finished books on my red shelf. And also there's more books in all of the closets. So I'll take you guys with me. Okay, so this is my red shelf that I keep in my bedroom and it's jam packed. Um, so only the books that I have read go on this shelf. And I'm just gonna make sure there's nothing I wanna get rid of on here even though it won't count for my TDR. So I can't really film it because there's nowhere to put you guys. So again, more bad, delicious lighting in here. Uh, I didn't find anything on the red shelf that I wanted to get rid of, but I do have like new releases and stuff in my closet. <laughs> because I'm a freaking book hoarder. Okay, so next, I went through a couple of the other closets in my bedroom and I didn't really see anything that I wanted to unhaul. So one of the last places is this uh, shelf in here just totally random because I was trying to make room for other things so I can't really film it because of uh, where I have to put you down but I'll just see real quick if there's anything I need to get rid of okay back in my office I found a few things in the other room Poppy War by RF Kuang I've heard really mixed things about this and I know it's part of a very large series and I just don't think I'm gonna get to it for quite a while so it's gonna go Heart of Iron and Ace of Shades one by Ashley Hot Poston one by Emily Lloyd Jones I picked these up because I couldn't find books very easily and I was like, eh, I can, you know, read them eventually and they don't have dust jackets and that's gonna drive me nuts. <laughs> so, gonna unhaul. And then the Fifth Wave trilogy, I have been literally meaning to read this one, this series, for almost the longest and I still haven't and I know I can find them again if I really love them. So I need to say goodbye. Okay, I am gonna go through, this is, video is gonna be done today. I thought I was gonna take like a really long time, but it's basically gonna be over soon. So I'm gonna go through the uh, decorative parts of my shelves, see if there's anything else, and then go over everything one last time. Mm, I'm really excited. I did not expect this to go so fast. A couple things I recently hauled. 
again, that I can find easily. Timeless, Diego and the Rangers of the Vast Atlantic, just a fun middle grade. It's got like a bunch of pictures and things. Dollar Tree Find, another Dollar Tree Find. Circle of Jin, I know this is a genie story, which I am interested in, but I don't have the first one, so. And then Not a Drop to Drink and In a Handful of Dust. I read this one a couple years ago and really didn't like it. Keep trying to convince myself to reread it so I can read the second book, but we're just gonna call it good. So now I'm gonna count up how many I have so far and that will determine if I need to scour like one last time. Okay, I did it. <laughs> I went through everything like a million times because I really wanted to get to 100 because I was doing better than I expected. So I grabbed a ton more things. Let me go over some of the ones that I didn't show you guys. <laughs> Defy and Endure by Sarah B. Larson. I think I can find these again. It's a fantasy series. That's really all I know. And I have so many other more important, sadly, um, like like Fallen Kingdoms and Throne of Glass and like a bunch of other things like that that I need to get to. These are gorgeous, so it's kind of hurting, but that's okay. Same kind of lines, Queen's Rising. Don't know much about it. Haven't gotten to it. There's a bunch more in the series. This one I didn't even haul yet, but Epic Gothic Fantasies. This is a super dense, like, uh, classics book, and I'm not going to get to this this year. I did find another mermaid esque book, Breathless by Cole Gibson. Um, I just have a lot of mermaid books. This is paperback. It has a weird font, which shouldn't matter, but I think that I have other things I can get to. A little bit hurdy. Uh, Rose Society and Young Elites by Marie Lu. I'm going to punish myself for not having read anything else by Marie Lu besides Warcross. So once I read Legend, the Legend Trilogy, then I can collect these again. But I literally found like another copy of Rose Society not too long ago. So Talon and Rogue by Julie Kagawa. I want to read these. They're dragony, they're fantasy, but I've had them for a long time. Can find them again. Only Awakening by Kelly Armstrong for the hundredth time, just because it's so easy to find. Don't think I'm going to get to it this fall. Ferris by Gail Carson Levine. Again, see it all the time. I have tons of retellings to get to. Same thing for Wildwood Dancing by Juliet Merillier. This one's kind of beat up and I know I'm going to listen to it on audio first anyway. Stray by Elisa Sussman. Like Witches in the Woods. It looks amazing, but I haven't found the other like books in the series in like three or four years. <sighs> the Good Thief by Hannah Tinty. I just thought the cover looked cool. I think it's middle grade. The Curse of the Windigo by uh, Rick Yancey. I don't have the rest in the series. I just recently hauled these but just weird Dollar Tree like dystopian uh, sci-fi finds. High Ground and An Evil Times. This one's kind of a maybe. Architect of Song by A.G. Howard uh, because this is a very very nice signed paperback. I don't really care about things being signed and I'm really rough on my paperbacks so I think I might just buy a regular paperback version of this that's not so nice and try to sell or trade this one because I'm so rough on them and this is a really great addition. Oh, The Search for One Law by Tony Ditcher-Lizzie. I'm gonna make sure that I can get a hold of this again but it's just paperback and I have the other book in the series in hardback and yeah, I'm just was trying to find reasons to get rid of things. Outcasts of Time by Ian Mortmere. I know my friend really wanted this one and I literally don't know anything about it. Dollar Tree Find. Again, Sanctuary, Karen Licks, another like sci-fi dystopian. The Vanishing Bride, a Bronte Sisters mystery. I just have a lot of these horror, like these gothic historical mysteries and I know I won't get to this one this fall. Somewhat recent finds in Carceron and Safik. These I find really easily. They're a fun duology about a magical prison. But again, I can find them, and I know I won't read them by the end of the year. I'm going to unhaul Ivory and Bone and Obsidian and the Stars, but this one is a TBR book. I just didn't love the first one enough to carry on, so unhauling. A Country by Melissa Albert. I DNF'd this one a couple weeks ago. I might still try and read it because it's such a beautiful book, and I think I did somewhat enjoy the Hazelwood. I might have just not been in the mood, but I wanted to put it in here just in case. Game of Thrones by George R. R. Martin. I am going to read this. I can find it again when I'm ready. I only got 100 pages in. Uh, Amber and Dusk, When I Cast Your Sad Shadow and Light as a Feather. Just some things I got for fall for spooky reads, but we're like halfway through September and I haven't even come close to the things that I had gotten last year. Wrapped by Ray Bradbury. This is like a mummy book. It seems really cool, but X Library, not gonna get to it. Classic edition, Greek Myths, A Wonder for Boys and Girls. I, they have a newer version I can get. Circus Mirandus by Cassie Beasley. Fun looking middle grade <laughs> virals and seizures. I wanted to read these, but I have like a lot of like weird dystopian books and that one's about a virus. So maybe not good timing. The Reader uh, by Tracy Chi. Had it for forever, haven't started it. I know it's a fairly big series. Song of the Current. I just got it because I thought it was gonna be mermaidy. I don't think it is. Again, I can find it again. 
Semboyant by Mara Grant. I want to read more from her, but I need to find the first of the series first. The last song before the night. It's just beautiful. That was the only reason I got it, so we're gonna unhaul it. This is On the Waves by Mary Lindsay. Uh, this is not Mermaid Day. I don't think I think it's witchy. It does sound really good, but I can find it again. Dream a little dream. I don't know anything about it. So I think that's everything for the most part. Um, yeah, so I've unhauled basically 100 books. Um, most of them are TBR books, a few are books that I physically read. So I think that that's really good. I've made a complete disaster of my room. There are <laughs> piles of books everywhere. So I was hoping I could get a little more than 100. I might do another one at the very end of the year because I know I've got some things that I'm hauling and stuff like that. Um, but with the way that I haul things, it's just good to kind of cleanse the palette and uh, this will put me off on the right foot and then eventually I'll get some new bookshelves as well. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time on the bright side. Bye. <laughs> now I gotta clean up everything that's happening. <laughs>